Hello again. So this is going to be my third installment of uh, just kind of creating GUIs. Getting a little bit more fancy here. Something I see a lot is people asking about uh, like color pickers, I guess you could call them. People tend to want to have something like this for Photoshop, apps like that, uh, where they can switch between colors a lot faster, especially because uh, you can only view your favorites. So they don't want to have to constantly go into the sub menus to pick those uh, other colors that aren't up there. So I went ahead and made this GUI here real quick. So uh, basically all I did, I just used a, a picture here. There's some reason that's not opening. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, so all I did was take a screenshot of the color blue and also yellow and orange over here. I then uh, came in here use the little picture thing here put yellow uh, yellow orange and blue and uh, current color uh, it's going to tell you whatever is highlighted and just a close button so let's explain that code a little bit better uh, once again to get that code just go to save as save to clipboard is what i usually use you can save it to a file if you want to too and then we're just going to go ahead spit it over here into notepad plus plus so here's what i ended up with here um, you've got the file path where your uh, colors are saved for the pictures. Uh, a lot of people are always going to want this to always be on top, so you can just add that at the beginning of your GUI. Uh, I kind of explained this a little better in uh, previous videos if you're curious what that really means. Um, so after that, really all you got to do is for each picture, add G for Go, and then just like a handle name. So I just named this one Blue Switch, Orange Switch, yellow switch. Uh, close just closes out the program when I'm done with it. Um, then for the current picture, for the current color I have selected, I left the end of it where the file path normally would go. I left it blank and I just add a variable there called current pick. So what that does is when I click on uh, blue switch, it's going to jump down here to blue switch. Uh, for now, I just have a message box that says blue was picked. This is where you're going to put the code on how you want it to select the color. Uh, sometimes some of the programs have hotkeys that will automatically do this, like push, I don't know, like control alt 11 on your numpad and it'll switch to blue. Uh, it really depends on your program. So this is the part you're going to really have to figure out yourself. The next thing I want is uh, I'm going to use a GUI control, comma, comma, current pick which is that variable that's up here, and then the file path of blue. And then I'm just going to duplicate that all for orange and yellow. Obviously, I'm just changing the file path. And yeah, so let's go ahead and see that in action. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. So here's my GUI. Uh, let's say I need to select the color orange. I'm going to click orange. I get that little message box. Orange was picked. OK. And boom, now I know that I am currently selecting orange. I'm going to go ahead and switch to blue. Blue was picked, and blue is right there. So this is actually really simple to do. I mean, I just kind of use some simple colors, but you can add a ton. I mean, you could have had a whole wheel if you want it, uh, whatever you wanted to do there. Uh, close, once again, just closes out the application, so I'm done You know, doing whatever work I need to do. Uh, just another thing, uh, under the show, at the very end, you can change this. This is going to be the title up here, Color Picker, just to name it for you. Uh, your coordinates, you can change those. Um, obviously, once you launch it, you can move it to wherever you want, but if you ever want it to always open, say, up here at 0, 0, you can just change 0, 0, or you can actually just get rid of the XY coordinates. Let's go ahead and save that. And that's just going to make it always pop up in the middle um, if there's no coordinates in there. So it's always going to be directly in the middle of your main screen. All right. So like I said, that one was actually pretty simple, but I see this question being asked all the time. This uh, actually was recommended by a user I found on Reddit. Uh, sorry if you're watching this video. I completely forget what your username was. Um, but I thought this was a really cool idea to touch base with on doing this. Uh, the main reason why is unfortunately uh, you can't really change the uh, color of a button. 
um, just because that is a system setting. Um, you can go into your system settings and you know kind of change how this looks, but you know that's going to apply to every button on there. So unfortunately, you can't have a button that's just blue or orange or yellow. So we just use a clickable picture instead. So that's the reason why we kind of want to do this way. Um, this can also be used for other stuff besides color picks. Um, maybe you want a clickable icon. You can go on Google and just download an icon and use the picture uh, for that. Um, that's always a really cool thing to do. Makes it look a, a lot more professional. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more, I plan to definitely upload uh, probably two to three videos every week. Slowly getting a little bit more advanced over time. Uh, with GUIs, auto hotkey being used in Chrome, um, pretty much anything you can think of. So please subscribe, definitely helps me out. Um, comment if you guys have anything you want to see specifically uh, that might be uh, pretty advanced. I can definitely do videos on that. All right, thank you guys. See ya.